Hello, I'm Daniel. I'm Jonathan. And we're the Fountain Pen Guys. Let's talk pens. Or ink. <laughs> this is going to be an ink review. Um, we uh, talked in our first two videos about how right now at the end of 2019, um, you can pick up a free bottle of ink from uh, Goulet Pens when you order a free bottle of Monte Verde ink, the 30 milliliter bottle, uh, when you order uh, any of the Yaffa brand pens, and that's Monte Verde, Conklin, Penider. Right. And so we wanted to do another review. Uh, I ordered a sample set from Goulet. That's one of the cool things some of the pen companies will do. They'll let you order samples of whole groups. And so this is a sample we're going to take a look at of the Sweet Life uh, set from collection from Monteverde. And uh, Daniel and I uh, have both, uh, we, we used a writing sample uh, in our video where we were demonstrating Twisby Ecos. And uh, now we want to again revisit that uh, with you and talk about this ink and let you see uh, samples of each of the different colors in the collection. And uh, then we'll kind of tell you what, how we feel about it. Um, so uh, these inks are all named after sweet stuff. <laughs> yes. Uh, so those of you with a sweet tooth out there, uh, this is just an extension of that. Um, they're very vibrant colors and they've got fun names and so it's a little bit of uh you know there's it's a little bit of the whimsical side of ink collecting sure sure and uh and it, we talked about in our last monteverde ink review we uh reviewed the tanzanite and the sapphire from the gemstone line and we noted that those were very saturated one was a blue purple and one was a purple blue yeah. and uh, <laughs> they were very saturated there was no shading apparent um, no sheening, and these inks are a little bit different. Uh, they're also bright, uh, and I guess that's what I really like about, one of the things we're gonna talk about that we like about these is, I like that they're very bright, but they also shade a little bit. Right, so it's not just like a straight up uh, highlight color. Uh, sure. Because it's got a little bit of depth to it. Sure, absolutely. So, now we're just gonna take a look at the writing sample we did for our other video and talk about it a little bit, and then we're going to show you, as well, we will show you all of the samples the, the swabs I have made of all the different inks in the, uh, the Monteverde Sweet Life collection. And uh, you can see here is the Monteverde Strawberry Shortcake. Uh, this is the bright red in this set of colors. And uh, we'll let you see this again here in just a moment. Um, but there is the Strawberry Shortcake. And you can see there at the top what it looks like on, um, on uh, Rhodia paper as opposed to uh, this is a set of the coloring cards um, that are available also to purchase and to swab up different inks with. And uh, um, what do you think of that red? It's it's definitely an attention grabber. Uh, it's not subtle at all. Uh, this jumps out at you. Uh, it's it's really fun and and vibrant, eye catching. Eye catching, absolutely. So this might be one that if you are working in an executive atmosphere, this might not be the one to put in your pen. Um, however, if you are a, an elementary school teacher, this would be an excellent <laughs> color to put in your pen. And then uh, let's find the birthday cake here. Here is the birthday cake, and you can see that in a fine Twisby. This was a, this was a broad or a bold mm -hmm. Twisby, and this Twisby Eco, and this was a fine Twisby Eco. And there is the birthday cake swabbed out on a coloring card. And um, it's, a, it's a purple, man. Um, it's not as purple as the gemstone. The tanzanite right. or the sapphire, those were a little more in your face saturation wise, but it's a it's a nice purple. Yeah, yeah, this one this one's definitely I would use the word softer color. Sure. Uh, than the than the gemstone one. Uh, but it, it is really pretty. It reminds me of, of uh, Easter eggs. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely got some and, and and a lot of these have some spring to them. Mm -hmm. Some springness to them. Well let's look at the whole let's look at the whole collection then. So we have already looked at the, uh, the strawberry shortcake, and we have already looked at the birthday cake. So let's look next at the blueberry muffin. You talk about another um, violet type of color. What, what color is that? Kind of this one. This one reminds me a lot of uh, the black swan and Australian roses. Ah, uh, yes, it does. Uh, yeah, it's that kind of burgundy. That's color. a noodler's ink. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, this shades much less than that does. Right. That is a heavy shading ink. 
Uh, it's a lot of fun, but again, it's Noodler's Inc. We'll have another conversation about Noodler's Inc. in the near future. Um, this is iced cookie. What are your thoughts on iced cookie there, Daniel? It's a nice uh, teal color. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. It is also, if you have any of the uh, Eroshizuku inks, it's very close to Tsuki Yo also. Yes. I use that one a lot. Um, here is the Key Lime Pie. Yeah, uh, you know, just like Key Lime Pie, you don't want to have it every day. But every <laughs> once in a while, it can be fun. Every once in a while, it can be fun. All right, <laughs> let's take a look at So the first five. Um, I say first. Is there an order to inks? <laughs> um, then we have... The uh, mango mousse. What are your thoughts on the mango mousse, Daniel? It is incredibly bright. Um, I would put this in the same family as maybe the Apache Sunset by Noodlers. Uh, um, and then maybe a Sailor ink. I'll tell you what it is. So, yeah, I use Sailor Gentle Apricot often. It's a little more yellow than Sailor Gentle Apricot. And it's a lot more saturated. Here's the Sailor Gentle Apricot. Right. So it's a little more yellow than the Sailor Gentle Apricot. So if you like an orange that pops, it's not that. But it is visible. Now here's the deal. I put it in my fine Sailor uh, 1911 large. And I couldn't read it when I went back to read it. So right. I would stick with medium or bigger on this. Definitely what I would do. Um, Blue Velvet Cake. What's blue velvet cake there? Dave? It uh, it, there's there's a certain, uh, and, and it's not just because velvet's in the name of it, but it kind of reminds me of denim. You sure. Know, the Good point. The just how there's like a fuzziness to it. Sure. It's really fun looking. Sure. And it's a really cool blue black. Yeah. It's, it's an interesting blue black. You know, there's blue blacks and then there's interesting blue blacks. It's got a hint of teal or something. Right. Right. Which which gives it that fun factor. But it's serious enough. I could use this one at work. Yes, this is totally yeah. a work a work usable color. Ah, I like this next one. Cherry Danish. This is not a bright red. Right. It's kind of got some rust to it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's it's a it's a more toned down red. So if you're not a fan of fire engine or cherry red, uh, like that candy apple red, this is this is not that. Uh, this is a little darker, uh, a little warmer. Sure, a little warmer. And a couple that are pretty close to this one, if you're into reds. I, I always feel like I'm into reds, and then I order them, and I scratch my head and wonder <laughs> if I really am. But here's a couple that are similar. Um, these are a couple diamine. Um, Red Dragon is a little redder. Mm -hmm. A little less. What's that other color that we're seeing there? Uh, it's, it's kind of, yeah, like a, like a burnt sienna. Yeah, maybe kind so. Of a, a little in the brown family. Now, Oxblood... So the funny thing about ox blood is it literally looks like dried blood. Yeah. Um, it's a little darker, obviously. It's actually a pretty close color. It's just got a little more black in it, kind of, to me. To right. Me. Yeah. It just goes farther in the, on the spectrum in sure. the dark. Yeah. Sure. So the, the cherry danish is really nice. I, if I, I, I purchased bottles of these, if I had it to do over again, I might go with the cherry danish. I might like it better. It was really interesting. I, I used that one a little bit. Uh, and then two more. Pumpkin cake. What are your thoughts, Daniel? Yeah, that's it's, it's brown. It's like a golden brown golden in there. Brown. Uh, pumpkin pick, pump, pumpkin cake. It's it's very, very much you know late October fall type color. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, really fun. And then the last one in the line of the Sweet Life inks is chocolate pudding. Yep. Uh, it's it's kind of a, a matte brown, you know. Um, Brown inks are interesting because you don't really reach for them a lot, but then if you're writing a letter, uh, it gives it a, a little bit of gravitas, you know, using a brown ink. And maybe especially if you're writing on like an ivory paper. Oh yeah, yeah, cream paper. Uh, yeah, that would that would look gorgeous on that. So sometimes, you know, it's nice to have options. Uh, if you're a pilot, if you're a pilot user, here is the. Uh, Yamagu Yamaguri. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. I can't read my writing. Yeah, so it's a little more. It's a little less yellow. There's a little bit more yellow to mm -hmm. that, or green, kind of right. in that one than there is in the chocolate pudding. Yeah. But that's the Sweet Life colors. I really like them. Um, if we go back to the first couple, the ones we demonstrated, we also 
we also did the uh, chromatography. We did on chromatography those. on those, and uh, as you can see from the strawberry shortcake, the whole chromatography is yeah, just that red color. <laughs> it's that color. There's, there's no mysteries to this one. This one is it's a uh, all yeah. that color, mm -hmm. and then uh, and then the, the the birthday cake though is a totally different story. Look at these colors that popped out of the birthday cake. Yeah. Pretty crazy. You know what that reminds me of is uh, remember the the Bic pens that had the the different colors in the same pen with the different <laughs> set, and then they had the the wild colors in the '90s. Kind of aging myself a little bit, but that's kind of what that reminds me of. Yeah, that's uh, it's really interesting because I would have never guessed that the heart of this purple was pink and teal. Yeah, totally. I would have never guessed that, but it's really nice. So yeah. those are the uh, the Monteverde Sweet Life colors. Yeah. So these these are never going to be. A collection you're going to have at your desk at work, uh, but these the application for these I picture these uh, for journaling, maybe to do some some color washing, and then to write over them. Uh, you know, some people who do the the really artsy journals and things like that. I could see these colors working great for that. Absolutely, and uh, or if you live in a world where you can use crazy <laughs> colors, um, right? Most of the work I do, nobody sees but me. Most mm -hmm. of my, my work is digitized by the time anybody else sees it. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, they're absolutely cool colors. Um, some highlighter almost colors and some very usable colors. Uh, when you talk about the blueberry muffin or the iced cookie, I mean, those are very work functional. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the browns you probably could get away with using at work. Maybe the cherry danish if you're at a, in an office where people enjoy some color. And then absolutely the birthday cake you could oh, use. Yeah. In a work situation. Or blue velvet cake. Yeah. Or I'm sorry, blue velvet cake. You're right. We already looked at the birthday cake. All right, Daniel. What do you really like about these inks? So, like I said before, I like just how bright and vibrant they are. They're kind of fun. Um, there's a little bit of character to them, a little bit of depth, which is it's just not a one trick pony. Um, and it, it's just kind of fun. They're, they're fun inks. Sure. So I do like that about them. Sure. The lubrication's nice. Mm -hmm. um, all these Monteverde inks seem to be very well lubricated, and that just means your nib slides across the page a little bit nicer, which means if you've got a nib that's a little testy, <laughs> um, you it'll probably make it write a little bit better. If you've got a smooth nib, it is going to be glassy smooth uh, yes. with these inks. And so that's really nice. Uh, I like to use a lot of the Pilot inks and the Sailor inks, and they don't do that quite as well as these do. Right. Even though they're really high quality inks, I really like them. <laughs> um, and then the shading. The shading's nice. It's nice to have some shading. And uh, some of these, and, and you know, we pointed this out a moment ago when we were taking a look at them, some of these lighter colors you probably won't want to use in a fine nib pen because they kind of become invisible ink. You know? <laughs> right. You start writing and you go back to read and if lighting's not perfect, when I sit down in my living room and the lighting's not perfect, they're a little hard to read back over what I've written. So be careful of that. I would encourage you the light colors, the kind of highlighter type colors, uh, use in a broader nib. Mm -hmm. But besides that, um, these are really, really pleasant inks uh, to use. And I wouldn't discourage picking up really any of these you are really interested in. Right, the price point's also nice, right? For, for an ink like this that's fun, uh, it's not one, it's not on the expensive side, sure. which is also a, a good point for sure. for these inks. So if you get it from Goulet right now, you could get it for free. <laughs> right. But if you can't get it for free, these bottles of ink are like $9 for 30 milliliters. Right. And you right. just really can't beat that price. And of course, you can get samples too. If you want to, you can order this whole sample for somewhere in the, I want to say $20, 20 I want to say it was $14 to $20 range. Yeah. From Goulet yeah. Pens. I ordered the whole sample. They're in these little... Uh, they're in these little uh, one and a half milliliter um, vials. And so you get to try them all out and see which one you really like. So thank you for taking a few minutes to watch our ink review video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found an ink you really like and uh, just can't stand not having in your collection. <laughs>